Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Dana. If this is your first time here, please be sure to subscribe. I am dropping new videos every single week from home, cleaning, organization, lifestyle stuff, being a mom, wife, all of the things. So if you're interested in that type of content and getting to know me, definitely, definitely subscribe. Today I am in my master bedroom and today's video is going to be a clean with me slash room tour. So I'm excited to show you my space, show you the room. Every time I show it on my Instagram or my Instagram stories, I get a ton of questions. So I wanted to finally do a little room tour and show you guys my place of peace. I feel like having a really nice master bedroom that you love and that you just feel so good in, it, it just, it changes the game. Seriously, it changes the game. Like every time I walk into my room, I feel so much more at ease. I feel relaxed. And that's exactly what I wanted this space to be all about. So I'm gonna show you guys, you know, how I decided to decorate this place, where I got a lot of things from, give you all of the details. So that is in one place. Definitely want to show you guys how I'm cleaning my room because it's a mess right now. It's not crazy, but like, you know, when the kids come in here, their toys get all over the place. I took my bedding off because that needs to be cleaned. You know, just really showing you guys how I get this place to look good. <laughs> I try to maintenance my room like in terms of cleaning every single day. I clean my room every day, but I haven't in the last like few days. So that's why I kind of just piled up. And I'm like, okay, let's let's do this. And I figure why not record it. So let's get to it. Here is where we are starting. This is my master bedroom. A little junky right now. All right, so first up, I start by removing all of my bedding so that I can throw it in a wash. I wash my bedding every single week, but then I go in and deep clean my mattress with my Bissell Deep Cleaner. And I do this at least every month to just keep the mattress fresh and clean. And I'm really enjoying this cleaner. I can use it from anything from carpet stains, the mattress, and even my upholstered furniture. Couch is a little dirty. Got a little, some food spots. Some little fingerprint stains. So I'm just gonna take some cleaner and just wipe down the couch. So next I am wiping down my couch. This is just like a faux leather couch from Ikea so I can easily wipe it down with my cleaner. I am using a multi microband multi-purpose cleaner just to kind of wipe down the stains. Next I am going to dust so I, you know, obviously remove everything from the um, shelf and then I go ahead and wipe everything down, making sure it's all nice and shiny. And I do that for all of the furniture in my room. Next, I am breaking out my new Dyson V11 vacuum, and I can honestly say I'm obsessed with this vacuum. I've been using it every single day. I think this deserves its own little review, so more to come on this vacuum. Okay, so now the room is all clean and ugh. I just feel so good. Like when my room is clean, it just, my energy, my spirit just feels so much better. So yeah, I hope you guys like the space. I am seriously so obsessed with this space. I love it so much. So when I was designing this space, I really wanted a place that both my husband and I could both love. Like I didn't want it too feminine. I didn't want it too masculine. I wanted to pair both of our styles, a nice neutral space that again, both of us would love and feel comfortable in and feel like it's ours. You know, a lot of times when you're designing a space for a husband and wife, it's like sometimes the wife may want feminine touches and the husband is like, uh, I don't feel comfortable here. So I really wanted to have a space that we both love and I feel like we, we did that. So let's start with the bed, which is I think my favorite piece of the room because First of all, the bed is super comfortable. Our mattress is everything. Like, oh, we got the mattress from Mattress Firm. The bedding we got from Cozy Earth, which is the most comfortable sheets and bedding I have ever slept on. Like, it's made of bamboo cotton, I believe, and it's 
incredible. I am obsessed with these sheets, the bedding is every freaking thing. I wanted white bedding. I just love how white bedding looks. I love how white bedding feels. I just feel like every time I jump into white bedding, I feel so comfortable and cozy. So that's the vibe we went with, with the covers and the sheets and the pillows. Next, the actual bed, the bed frame. So I got the bed frame from American Signature Furniture which when I immediately saw this bed frame, I loved it because of the gray color. When I decided to go with this gray, black, white, neutral color palette and I saw this bed, I knew this would be perfect. I just love the gray wood texture of it. Looks amazing. Having the nice bulky gray headboard, I felt like it would look really good in the space. I absolutely love having a ton of pillows on my bed it just makes it feel even more comfortable and cozy so the pillows that i went with is obviously just the standard king size pillows i have two of those in black and white and then i got these large pillows from amazon the sham is from amazon and then the insert is from amazon and i just like how having these large pillows behind the actual king size pillows how it looks on the bed. So I got three of those to span across the back of the bed. And then I have these um, small little decorative throw pillows that I got from Target that I absolutely love. Again, layering on a ton of pillows just makes the bed look extra comfortable, but also add additional color to the room. And that's what I wanted with the black and the gray pillow because I feel like it just kind of tied everything together. And let's talk about the art over the bed. So I have a canvas and then two framed art prints. And I got those from Society6. And the two prints on the side of the canvas I framed. I think I just got a frame from Target. I really love abstract art. I feel like it just brings some uniqueness, some flair to the space. And I was searching high and low for abstract art that fit within the scheme of the black, gray, and white vibe. And when I saw the canvas, I was like, oh, I love this canvas, but I'm like, oh, it's kind of too small for the space. So that's why I went with the two frame prints on the side of it. I like the vibe that it gives. I feel like it adds the exact flair and decor style that I wanted to add to this room. Now let's talk about the paint color. We decided to go with two shades of gray which really adds just, I don't know, I love the, the colors that it adds to the space. This dark gray color is the color shade, and then the light gray is the color Windy City. And we decided to go with two different colors because we wanted this, you know, kind of focal point wall to be darker, and then the rest of the um, walls be a lighter gray. And I'm glad that we did that because it looks really, really good, and we like both of the colors. So, you know, adding your own unique flair. There's no rules to design and decor in my book. This is like really do what you like. Now, nightstands. So I got these nightstands from Wayfair. And ironically enough, the bed and the nightstands are from two different companies. I was like, oh my God, girl, you did that because when I purchased the bed, I didn't have, um, I don't believe this came with nightstands or the nightstands were out of stock or something like that. So I'm like, Oh my God, now I gotta try to find a nice stand to go with it. And these, it matched perfectly with the gray wood. The quality isn't the best. I mean, it's starting to kind of like peel a little bit, but I mean, it is what it is. It still looks really good in the space. And then these beautiful lamps. Oh, I love these lamps so much. They just look so good. I got these from Wayfair as well. I love the black shade on here the silver base with the gray. I love it. The details on these lamps look really, really good, especially against the gray wall. While we're here, might as well talk about this faux plant. When I got this from Target, when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I have to have it. I'm a faux plant lover because I can barely keep real plants alive. Like I think I have, I have a few real plants throughout my home, mainly on the first floor and they're hanging on. They're doing okay, but I just prefer faux plants because they 
a lot, especially when I don't have a ton of light. Like this area of my room doesn't get a ton of natural light, so a real plant that looks like this probably wouldn't last long. But I still wanted some sort of greenery, some sort of height in the space. And then I just got this city painting just to add some contrast with the black on the gray walls. I got this painting from Ikea. All right, so this next area of the room, I really, really love. I just love having a full length mirror in a room. I feel like if you have an empty wall in your room, definitely add a full length mirror. I just love it. And I got this one from Ikea. Love it, love it, love it. It's tall enough for me and my husband. I got this faux plant from Home Goods, which I absolutely love. I love just that little touch of greenery in the corner, especially when I take my pictures. Then I just got this basket at home store. I can store pillows, extra throw covers, and all of that. So I got the rug from Wayfair, and the rug is just so beautiful. It brings in all of the gray colors. It just looks really, really great in this space and just provides like warmth. So I love that I put it right here in the center because it just kind of ties everything together perfectly. I got the curtains from Amazon. I really just wanted, you know, some nice gray blackout curtains that'll look well with the space and the colors. I feel like the dark curtains match really well with the gray accent walls. All right, on to the next area of the room, which is one of my favorite areas because this is my all-time favorite picture of my husband and I, and I knew I wanted to blow it up and put it really big in this space. Shout out to VS Davis Photography, my boy Vernon in Baltimore who shot this picture of us. I purchased this frame from Ikea um, because I knew I wanted a large size. So once I found this frame from Ikea, I was like, bet, gonna get that. And then I just blew up the picture to print it out and put it inside of it. And I just love, love, love this. I feel like in your master bedroom, if you're in a relationship or marriage or whatever, I feel like that room is reserved for you and your partner. So the pictures should be of you and, the, and your partner, no family. <laughs> That's just how I feel, no family, no kids. It should just be you and your partner just looking at the beautiful images because honestly, I'm not trying to roll over and look up, you know, when I'm with my, my husband and see pictures of my parents or my kids, like, no. Save the family pictures for the common areas, the living room and all of that. We have plenty of pictures downstairs of the kids, but in this space, I just wanted to be me and my boo. I also got this bookshelf from Ikea. I love the dark wood and the black metal. It just works really well with all of the other finishes of the room, the black, the black doors, all of that. So I knew I had to get this bookshelf. I also just love the glass of the second shelf and then, you know, all of the things that I added to it, the decorative books, which I got from Amazon and the other little decorative finishes I think I got from Home Goods. but it just really adds nicely to the space and I really, really love how it looks. The other thing that I love is these candles. These are from Amazon. I love these candles so much. <laughs> They're flameless candles, so it's perfect in the home, especially when you have kids and you love candles but you don't want to run the risk. Definitely get flameless candles. And then these, you know, decorative jars I got from at home store. So I just love being able to add just little decorative touches to fill the space and have a little bit good. And I feel like this uh, does just that. All right, next up is the entertainment area. We have the Samsung TV, which I love. And I got this storage bookcase from Ikea. I just knew I wanted to have like some just storage here. And I added the bins from like Target so that I can do some hideaway storage, which I really love. And the other decorative pieces I purchased from Home Goods and the white books I got off of, I believe, Etsy. The other little touches that I really, really love about <laughs> this space are these two special moments for Ernest and I. So this, I know you're wondering like, what the heck is this? So basically when we got married, we got married in the church and part of our ceremony, we combined sand. So I had the pink sand, Ernest had the blue sand and we poured it together and this symbolized us coming together as one. So this is just very special to me. And then the rocks. So basically I stole the rocks. Well, not really stole, but on our honeymoon, we had a honeymoon, we went to Bahamas and on the beach, I just you know, saw the little seashells and the rocks. And I'm like, oh, this would be nice just to take as, you know, just symbolize our honeymoon and our marriage and everything. 
And then this is actually our cake topper. So we love basketball. If you know us, then you know we love basketball. Basketball pretty much brought us together. So we had a basketball themed reception. So we had the little ball of us holding this custom cake topper of us. It's super cute. Obviously, we've been married now for, let me look at the date, eight years eight years married so I just love being able to look at our cake topper up here on the bookshelf and then this beautiful lamp that I have to the side of the bookshelf also got that from home goods which I just absolutely love the detail of this lamp it's so beautiful the details of the leg of it just the metal the black shade it just looks absolutely beautiful especially in this space it just works so how can I almost forget about my couch? This couch is everything. Oh, I just love having the couch on the end of the bed. I feel like having the couch here is so great because, you know, we can sit here, we can watch TV. Like just, I just like the fact that the couch is on the end of the bed. Like I don't have to sit on my bed. I can just sit on this couch and we got this from Ikea it's low profile so like when we are laying in bed it's not in you know blocking our view for the TV it's not too high it's just the perfect height I love that it's this you know faux leather material so it can easily be clean and I just added these throw pillows that I got from Target and it just looks really comfortable gives a nice little vibe and then I have this ottoman from Wayfair as well you can just you know sit here kick up your feet and I like that the bottom of the ottoman or the <laughs> the other side of the ottoman can transform and it's a little dirty I need to wipe it down um into a tabletop so like when we're sitting here at the the couch we can use this as a little tabletop and put drinks or you know food or snacks here All right, so that is it. That's the end of this clean with me slash room tour video. Definitely comment down below and let me know what you think of the space. What's your favorite part of the room? What's your favorite decor item? I would definitely love to know. Also let me know which room in my home I should do next. Should I do the kids room, the living room, kitchen, dining room? Let me know because I'm trying to create all of the content for you guys. So be sure to subscribe so you will not miss out on another video. Thank you so, so much for watching. We are just getting started with this YouTube channel and I am so excited. So be, be a part of the tribe. Be a part of the first 5,000. Let's, let's, let's get this thing popping. I'm so excited. But yeah, be sure to follow me on Instagram as well to stay tuned and keep up with me. And I'll be dropping another video next week. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.